am in the middle of a huge reading slump. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Karen. I do a lot of books, fashion, and lifestyle content. If any of that is of interest to you, make sure to subscribe button. So this is a really, really random video, but I feel like I've been so... I've had an agenda on how I film this vlogs and reading vlogs and how I'm reading. There's some type of agenda with it. And for this specific reading vlog, I'm just gonna read whatever I want. And we're going to try to get out of a reading slump. This is probably the biggest reading slump I've had in the longest time. I've only read like one book in two weeks. That is not acceptable for me. I read way faster than that. My hair is getting really long and really flat and I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. So I'm just gonna, gonna take you guys along. Why am I talking so weird? I'm gonna take you guys along. It's gonna be actually vlog style. We're gonna read what we want, we're gonna do what we want. But I also have to work every day this week, so I'm about to head to work. But before that, I'm going to show you guys the first book that I'm gonna attempt to read for this video. Fall vibes are gonna be, are gonna be immaculate in this video because I'm getting in the mood for fall. This is the latest I've ever taken to decorate for fall and we might even be doing this in this video because I'm gonna try to vlog all week. So, I initially wanted to do a full reading vlog for The Long Way Home in Olia Parks and I even started it but I'm thinking I'm either gonna include the footage here or I'm just gonna let you guys know where I'm at in the book. It's just not giving me the same feelings that the first two books gave me and I just don't want to dedicate a whole reading vlog to it. Put some of that in here and I'm also reading The Sacred History by Donna Tart and haven't made much of a dent in this. The letters on this book are tiny. So don't know what's gonna happen and then this is the most fall book ever it's called witchful thinking by celeste martin this book was gifted to me by a publisher and i kind of want to read this it seems like a fat seems like a fast short read so maybe we'll read this one too right now i'm trying to decide which book i want to take to work because i do read during my breaks and we need to get out of this reading slump this is this is ridiculous i have so many good books to read and i know i'm the problem but we have got to get out of this reading slump today. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video for as long as it takes. So a quick update on the whole getting out of a reading slump situation. The lighting is terrible, man. I look yellow or blue. Anyways, so here's what's going on. I, oh yeah, I got a haircut by the way. Let's just, elephant in the room, I got a haircut. It's short again and I'm obsessed because it just matches my personality more than any hairstyle ever, okay? Fair enough, one of the lambs because this is really bothering me. Okay, so here's what's going on. I am almost done with this book actually. I'm on page 324. This is The Long Way Home of Park. I do not want this series to end. I know there's probably going to be more books. I've heard the rumors about it, but... I'm so obsessed with these characters, I just don't want to say goodbye to them. But then, there's not a more frustrating male character in a romance book or a romance series than BJ Ballantyne. The guy is so freaking annoying, I just can't deal with him. I literally like every single other man in this book, but the main character. Like, it's unbelievable. But this is a brick, okay? It's super long. And my guess is if I don't finish it today, I'll finish it tomorrow and then I have no idea what I'm going to read next. But it is helping with the reading slump situation. I am reading really slow, which is not normal for me. But I think that's part of coming out of a reading slump that your reading speed just really goes completely down. Now, it wouldn't be a video from me if I didn't do an iPad drag haul. If you mind, they have kind of piled up because I've been getting a lot of glasses lately. And no, I don't purchase these. They're sent to me by the brand. Don't think that I'm like purchasing all these glasses because I'm not. I couldn't afford that. <laughs> so, four pairs. And let's just start with the most extra pair of glasses ever. The world is ready for this haircut and these glasses. Now, my style inspiration for these, I'll put a picture over here. Yes. What can I say? She's my fashion icon these days. And these are the Heather frames. Super 
adorable we're not saying cute anymore and this pair was kind of unexpected like i needed to pick a four pair and i was like what's that gonna be and i picked these adorable they are the where's the name if i can find it blossom frames now look at these isn't that just adorable now we're gonna say adorable a hundred times because when i Mary award i just can't divorce it okay these this pair wait they say these pair i was already wearing these last night did i scratch them already so i used to this is actually one of my first ever eye direct pairs back when i first discovered eye direct and i bought this pair these are called the primrose frames and i remember getting so many compliments on these back in college and i was not an influencer in college so like i was telling people yeah they're from eye direct but like I don't have a link for them kind of like <laughs> so this thing guys i need a new camera so can we please hit a thousand subscribers oh so, yeah i had to get this frame again because they're so freaking flattering if you see a glare it's not that this glass is glare easily it's like i'm literally in front of a window so and i'm also wearing mascara because yeah i haven't worn real mascara in a while i've been wearing this like natural mascara thing and it's actually made my lashes really long but today i was like i think it's a mascara day so that's what we're doing i need to work but i'm wearing a sweatshirt don't worry i styled it i'm not that lazy that's not a rat it's not a fat rat that's actually my dog and she's looking <laughs> she's offended by that pear i saw this girl on tiktok i don't remember her name if you know who i'm talking about mention it she's always wearing this pair of glasses and then i was like i think her name is charlie i've been an eye drag ambassador for so long i never saw anyone pick this pair until i saw her and i was like when i got to pick my glasses for this month i was like i think i need these like i need them and needless to say this is the most iconic pair of glasses i own these are the romy frames i need every color now all i need is a job at vogue magazine actually the ones that i'm gonna stay wearing because they're so freaking iconic i kind of hate that glare though okay. yeah i'll update you guys when i read a little bit more so far i think i am getting out of a reading slump i'm not reading as fast as i want to my goal is to read at least five more books before the month is over that's not happening it is september 28th my guess i'm gonna be probably one more book and that's like be very optimistic okay like you know i didn't do that thing where like i have to turn the books that i haven't read because i officially own more books that i've read so there's that do something really cute okay are you prepared that's bailey if you don't know bailey's my corgi bailey this is not a gun you can breathe you know that on the note of trying to get out of a reading slump, I actually finished one of my parts on the way home. This lighting is so freaking unflattering, but let's see what we can do about it. Okay, it's a little better. So I finished a long way home in the parks and the freaking plot twist at the end, the out of a reading slump. And right now I'm working on like so many reading vlogs that I really want to try to make this one work too, but I feel like it's going to take forever to go up. We're going to try, okay? But I actually finished it. I want to sit down and show for you guys my thoughts. I'm about to head to work, so I can't do that right now. But, wow. 530 pages, and this was a shocker, okay? Lighting is terrible as usual. I'm still in a reading slump. I finished The Long Way Home in Oil Parks and now I'm back in a reading slump. And I don't understand why I'm back in a reading slump because I have picked up so many good books. I even picked up a Colleen Hooper book for another video that I have going up. And it's just not doing it for me. So I'm just watching book videos and see if I get inspiration. Like actually do this because it's just not happening. The lighting is just horrendous here. Holy crap. I'm just watching book videos. I have been terrible at vlogging for this vlog. 
But I'm still in a reading slump, so I am giving you guys an update. It was enthralling, it was plot twisting, it was messed up, I was gawking at this adventure thriller kind of book, but the It is 7.31 a.m. I have been awake since 6 a.m. And I don't know why. I don't even have to wake up that early for work. So my hair is just not cooperating this morning either. I don't even know why I'm awake so early. Like nothing out of the ordinary is happening. <laughs> I have to have to work. I have to be there by 9. But today I think I'm going to get there way before 9 because I have anything else to do. I mean, I do have some TikToks to film, and I do have things to do for social media. I have two big partnerships going on right now. One of them requires like a lot of contracts, a W9 form, a lot of content with it, there's a payment with it, and it's just like a, the whole art deal, honestly. I already signed the contract, but I'm waiting to uh, pick the products. I already have some options. Let me send this email real quick. Hey, this is what happens when I wake up at 6 a.m. My brain is just completely blank. I'll tell you guys what my reading situation is right now. So I am reading a book for one of the YouTube booktubers that I follow. I'm doing a video on her five-star reads. And so I can't tell you what book I'm reading for that for obvious reasons. But then leaf blowers are doing this before 8 a.m. What on earth? Do you hear that? That's just ridiculous. Well, I am reading The X Hex. Let me get the book to show you guys real quick. But this one's a super cute and short read. I've only read like 32 pages of it, and it's one of the many books that I'm reading right now. It is October 7th, and I still haven't finished a book this month. You already know it's gonna be a terrible reading month for me. What happened, guys? Like, <laughs> I keep buying books, I keep getting sent books. And I'm just not reading them. Terrible reading slump. I am reading Uncle Hip. I can't say. Anyway, so this one, it's not gonna get me out of a reading slump. Like, it's a cute book, but it's not one of those books that's just gonna, like, get me out of a reading slump. So, I'm just kind of, like, picking it up whenever I feel, like, the fall vibes. That I need the fall vibe. Yeah, I'm just going to probably read for a little bit. Then head to work and I'll update you guys. I'm just kind of vlogging honestly and attempting to get out of this reading slump that I'm still on. And I feel like I'm getting out of it but then I'm going back into it. So we'll see what happens. Okay, I'll actually be talking in more detail about why I'm reading this book. But I got out of my reading slump. And guess who did it? Colin Hoover once again. So, here's what I'm thinking. I'm kind of wrapping up this vlog. Actually, I have no idea. Don't look at the notes that I have. It's just like a bunch of laundry that I have to put away. But this got me out of my reading slump. I can't really go into detail or like tell you guys what it's about. Well, you might know. But it got me out of my reading slump. So, like, we tried a lot of things to get out of our reading slump. Like, we tried so many different types of books. I even read some of Harry Potter. <laughs> it's been a journey. Not really. I feel like I'm terrible at vlogging you guys. Why does my hair look so bad today? I feel like we're gonna style my hair because I hate how it looks and I do not want to look like this when I go out to, to work. But I'm out of my reading slump. I just kind of do a recap after I get ready and then we're gonna kind of close up this video. Hopefully this is 10 minutes long. I'm terrible at this. <laughs> well, I think this is a new filming spot. <laughs> Anyways, I'm hating my hair today. I tried to like kind of straighten it and give it an angle, but it's like really, really pissing me off. But I got this sweater. Why is it look like so Christmasy? I'm wearing it to work. It's like October 11th today. Look everywhere. I bought it. It's um, part of my world, part of your war by Abby Jimenez. I hate that Target sticker. It's so annoying. Yeah, I got this book and then yeah, I'll be reading this. I have no freaking idea what it's about, but we will read it. I don't know what else to say. I'm getting some book mail today and like I kind of want to include it in this video, but then I also want to start another vlog. So I'm like, 
maybe not you know i want to deliver as many videos as i can before halloween anyways so yeah i think i'm just gonna close this video right here man i don't even know how much i filmed for this this could be potentially very embarrassing because i'm gonna be like hey i only have like a five minute vlog so let me like vlog some more okay, so thank you for watching please help me get to that subscribers before the year is over i i think youtube hates me or you guys hate me hit the subscribe button i'm kidding i really appreciate your support i have been getting some cool opportunities lately and it wouldn't be if it wasn't because of you guys if you want to see more weekly content from me follow me on tiktok i post a lot of book content on there i think that's all make sure to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next video bye guys Thank you.